is Kimmy the Gadget Goddess, and it's been a minute. Sorry, y'all. I had some trips and everything else. And basically, you know, work has been kind of hectic, but I've been trying to find my way back into something that motivated me to make a video. And today, I have for you my use case for the Beeper app. I know there's plenty of videos out on the Beeper app, and a lot of people are on a waiting list. I was on <laughs> Shout out to JoJo the Techie. She sent me an invite. I was able to get locked in yesterday. I'm not using this application for what I thought I would be using it for. Y'all know I've been carrying two phones for over, probably like two decades now. So I've had two phones for a while, all the way back to Sprint with the Cero program. I've always found it to be a headache until I had T-Mobile Digits to have two phones and be able to use them kind of simultaneously and just, here's what I'm going to tell you. I have my main SIM in the Google Pixel Fold, I'm able to text from the Razer and show the Google Pixel Fold number. The messages go to both phones, so it's not like I'm having to resync or anything else. So let me show you how I did it. A lot of my geeky friends carry more than one phone. So let's get into it. Once I got Beeper set up over here, I said, well, you know, I'm able to get WhatsApp and everything else to this phone. But I was like, man, what if I put Beeper on another phone? And would it, you know, send the text messages to both phones. And then my thought was, is it gonna send out this number, which I give to absolutely no one, to the person that I text if I text from this number? Rest assured, it does not. So what I did first, just to test things out, was I sent a test text message to myself. So this is to my main line from my Razor line, which is a completely different phone number. And that happened to pop up over here. Let's test, and it came from that number. I was like, okay, it works. So I sent a message to another friend just to see, you know. I wanted to see if they were going to say, hey, what number are you texting from, from or who is this? And I did not get that response. So I was like, awesome, this can work for me. I will tell you, after I downloaded the app over here, got everything saved, it asked for that 48-digit <laughs> encrypted number that they give you when you first sign up for the app, which... They tell you to save in a safe place so you can verify it. Otherwise, you're going to have to verify it on desktop. Now, I'm not near desktop an awful lot, but I did save that number to an email address I have. So I was able to log into my email, get that number, and put it in. The next time I use the default number that I set up on Beeper, it asked me for that verification number again. So when they tell you to save that number somewhere, save it somewhere unless you're gonna have access to your desktop all the time. I save numbers when they tell me, hey, this is an important number, save it somewhere. Everything was set up. It never asked me to verify again. It asked me to verify over here. Then it asked me to verify over here again when I started using it here again. And then everything's fine. What I'm gonna probably tell you is so you don't get so many alerts, is turn the beeper notification off on one of your devices. So if you know you can respond from both, you don't really need both going off. Me, myself, I'm gonna leave it on my daily driver main number. And if I happen to, you know, have this phone in my hand when I get a text, I'll just respond to it. The other thing that's super helpful, if anybody has a Razer, or I, don't, I can't speak for Samsung, but I guess if their app's working on the front, I was able to add it to my apps so I can pull up Beeper. And you know, there are my text messages. Oh, if you use both phones, I, I get it if you're using both text messages. But if you just want the ability to be able to respond to a text message with your other phone, this is a good look. Now I know a lot of people are searching it for iMessage and whatnot. I did sign up for that. I don't get a lot of messages on iMessage. My iMessage is registered to an email address and not an actual SIM card. I have to play around with it a bit more, but I really enjoy the fact that I can pick up either phone now and get at it. This was a little quick video, kind of give you a heads up on, I'm thinking there's various usages for this Beeper app. Sorry, my phone's blowing up because I'm getting text messages on both devices. But like I said, I'm gonna turn around and turn off alerts on the Razer for Beeper. Then I won't get as many alerts and the bonus to it is Beeper is not set as my default app. So if I was using this phone and was texting from this phone as well, I would still get my text alerts from Google Messages. I could flip flop those. Like if I give out both numbers, that's fine. I can still run Beeper on here with my default number and it not conflict with 
the other number that's on this phone. Y'all don't think that's pretty neat? I am blown out of the water by this discovery. And again, I didn't really see any videos out about it. So I figured I'd just throw together this quick video to show you how to use Beeper to support two phones with two numbers. Now if we could do that with calls outside of forwarding, the world would be a better place. I would like to thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out my use case for the Beeper app. If you found this useful, please click on the like button. If you found multiple videos on my channel useful, click subscribe. Subscriptions are free. Memberships, cost of memberships have privileges. If you'd like to see what those privileges are, please click on the join button and see what each tier of membership has to offer you. I'd like to thank you for your time. This time is money. And I hope to catch you on my next video. Hi.